Yes, everybody, how you doing out there? How you doing? Yours truly, yes. You know the name, it's AKA Dave Nation. It's Dave Nation of all Dave Nations. Yes, welcome to my podcast. Uh, I haven't done this for very long, uh, for oh, quite a while. I don't know how long, maybe two weeks, three weeks. Who, who's counting, right? But anyway, nonetheless, I'm going to do a podcast right now. Uh, my podcast today is. Um, let's, I'm going to run any topics out there because I, I, I'm just going to throw a lot of topics out there. Uh, a lot of people have talked about the uh, the spirits of the afterlife, and uh, one thing one thing that I tend to agree with uh, there's always going to be an afterlife. There's no hell. There's no heaven. I don't know if people think of heaven or hell is the right way to go in life after you pass away. It just whatever uh, whatever people think of hell or heaven. Heaven could mean uh, you're in heaven with Jesus and the Lord and everything else, and everything is horky dorky. And he- hell, which a lot of people don't like to talk about a lot of times, because hell comes up uh, a lot of negativity. Uh, hell can mean different things to different people. Uh, you have to say it in a proper content. They always say um, hell means that. Uh, it's not the hell that you're living in, in the kind of you know place that you're living in. That not it's not that type of hell I'm speaking of. The hell that I'm speaking of is when you pass away, and there's like uh, there's you go to depth of hell. There's a uh, there's a what people describe is a uh, a uh, demon, a very bad demon. Like you're going to dip to hell. Your whole body, you're screaming for your life. It's like hell of all hell. Um, and uh, we don't want our people in this lifetime to go down to hell, like down to flames of hell. Uh, that's not that's not what I want everybody to be like in this world of ours. Uh, I want everybody to go to heaven. That's my uh, that's my claim to fame. Uh, I want my friend, uh, my best friend, uh, uh, of 30, uh, 31 years to go to hell uh, to go to heaven, not hell, but heaven. He's a uh, He's a staunch. He's a kind of like a staunch believer in the Bible. He uh, he reads the Bible and he uh, he did that for a while for a while there, and he's uh, done a lot of church stuff. And he believes in the Bible. He uh, believes in it wholeheartedly. And I myself, I'm the total opposite. I'm kind of like the total uh, of what he does. He reads the Bible. He preaches what he preaches, and he puts the verses out there. He puts the uh, uh, the verses from the Bible that he kind of believes in. Uh, he, and uh, he believes in the Bible with uh, the beginning to end, and uh, no question about it, people believe what they want to believe in. If they want to believe in the Bible, what it says, the King James Version, to the regular version of the Bible. And there's so many Bibles out there. There's so many versions of the Bible that people do talk about in uh, videos today. I want a lot of people in this world, including my best friend who passed away two years, uh, not, uh, not two years, but two weeks ago, uh, who's passed on. And it's sadly enough to say this, that he passed on. I, I, uh, I have sources that he passed away. Now, we're going to go to his funeral sometime this week. And uh, it's a, a sad reality that he has passed on. He was once when our Pa- uh, or once our best friend of the family. Uh, it was like a second. Uh, it was like a second home to him, and I really do miss him. He was a friend of mine for 30 plus years. It's a long time for anybody to have friendship to anyone, uh, let alone have you know, other people's friends. Uh, Rushi friends don't last forever. You know, they come and go, and uh, they gotta do other things. Like I mean, they're not married. Uh, couple uh, guys are not married to another guy. That's not in the Bible. Bible wants us to marry a woman, uh, a woman and guy. That's uh, holy matrimony, whatever that theory is. Um, we can like our, uh, we can like our friends and be with them, and you know, be friendship, uh, be have friendship with them. But you can't marry two guys, okay? It, uh, it's always people want to. Uh, it's. The theory is uh, people want to be married because they're uh, not because they're gay or anything. Just want to get married because of the same reasons. And God doesn't believe in that for couples. It's not the right thing in the world. It's not uh, they call it, it's not normal if you were to ask me kind of thing. Um, you know, you just you got to do what you got to do in this world. And and I I'm a staunch believer about all this stuff. I really am, and I'm having a hard time the last two weeks 
knowing that my best friend of 31 years has passed on. Can you believe this, folks? This is, this is. I, I was dumbfounded like everybody else in the world. I was dumbfounded uh, that my dear friend of 31 years would actually pass away. I just, uh, at the first, uh, someone just, uh, one of his friends had called me up and said, my friend uh, passed away. And it was one of those phone calls that everybody was tend to say, tends to say to you, uh, you should never have to get. And um, I'm just, uh, I'm just belivered like everybody else. I'm really belivered about, uh, about what has aspired to my friend has passed away. And I really, really appreciate all the thanks and all the love that, that he's been uh, gotten in the afterlife when he's passed on. Um, yeah, I have a photos of him right here uh, in front of me here. Um, he just, uh, he's passed on. He, um, I think he had a short of breath, and then I think his heart gave out. And that's essentially what the, as they say, the sequence of uh, events kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, it just, yeah, short of breath. I think uh, all of a sudden, I think uh, his heart gave out, and um, it was sad. I wasn't there to see it. Uh, these were uh, other friends of his that were there to see it, I think. Uh, but I don't know how they got the information. I'm kind of blivered over that one. No, no, um, too much but they were there and I wasn't. So there's. A, it, it, I hope to hear about it in the funeral that what had what had really happened. Um, but until then, I'm just blivered like everybody else in the world. And uh, yeah, we're gonna say rest in peace for him for 31 years of my friendship of him. It's coming up to almost to uh, 31 years. Uh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's been that long of friendship. And, um, and you don't get too many friendships in the, in the world today. It's just unreal. To me, it's just undelivered. So anyway, my friend who, um, who I uh, taught him how to be a DJ, how to, uh, you know, this was kind of like his bucket list of life. Uh, to be on a radio station, he accomplished that. Uh, he did many things. He did many things in his life. I mean, 30 plus years, he did a lot of things that you could think of. And, um, yeah, she's... <clears throat> He's an amazing guy. Everybody thought he was a blessed man. He was a very blessed man, and I, I kind of think so. And uh, not a blessed man, but also a mentor to me. He's also a mentor, my best friend, and just a kind-hearted kind of guy. You know, if you once you meet him, you don't get to used to him. You get to like him a bit. Um, He's kind of he's kind of uh, he's kind of an exciting person once you get to know him. He's a really ex down to earth kind of guy, and he's a very blessed man. I really thank you for all the uh, the comments that he got on his uh, uh, Facebook page. And uh, yeah, I was reading them and I was dumbfounded that a lot of people do appreciate him uh, in this lifetime when he before he passed away. And um, yeah, so I want to thank you all out there for blessing my best friend of 31 years who passed away recently. Every was everybody was dumbfounded in the whole world last week. I was too myself. Not just me, but everybody else. So I heard it I heard the news like everybody else, okay? No question about it. Um so it was a rough go this week. It was very rough go. I, I nearly it was like my whole life taken away from me from my best friend. Good good mind taking them off of them. You know, it's like sad. It's like God shouldn't have to do that. God shouldn't have to take my friend away. You know, you know, you know, leave them to dead kind of thing. But you know, <clears throat> no, I was. If I was there, I would say I would be crying profusely. I would at the hospital. I would, and I would tell God, if you were to take my friend, take me instead. Um, uh, and I'm not joking, people. This is no joke. Um, if you're going to take my friend out and uh, you know make him pass away, why don't you take me out and pass away, make me pass away? Um, you know, um, I, lo I, I like my friend a lot. Not love him, but I like him. And love is a different, love can mean different things to different people. Remember that. Um, so you can have love mean different things to different people. Uh, but I, I like my friend. I'll just say this much. I like him. Okay. He's the best friend in the whole world. And I'm not saying it, uh, he was loved by a lot of people, a very lot of people, not just including me, but a lot of other people. And he's just passed away like, uh, I was dumbfounded like everybody else on social media. Uh, I was quite dumbfounded. And uh, yeah, the more of the story is, um, be, be around with your friend is more often than everybody else should. <clears throat> it's hard for me to say this. But be around with a lot of your friends out there because you never know what happens by the next day or the next day. 
Um, just be close to your friends, and today could be today, tomorrow could be another day. I mean that l literally, folks. This is I'm like tooting my horn out there for you guys about this. And I mean, just be with your friend as much as possible, because you don't want to lose him like any friend in the world. If you have friends out there, that's great. Make sure you uh, be friends forever and ever, because you only get one friend. And uh, life is great when you have friends out there. You know, you don't want to be alone in this world. You don't want to be alone because alone is not being, not being great. It's as simple as that. Not being alone is great. And uh, so I really appreciate everybody who has friends out there. So that's my, that's my two cents on that. And I will be going to the funeral sometime this week in about, I think, two or three days. Uh, but I will have... I will have some, I will write a book about all this uh, in the near distant future. But until then, I got this uh, podcast uh, going, and I will put this up on YouTube. And it's just, I'm just throwing out some topics here. Just, I'm not going to, not going to figure out what topics w will be. I just, just want to ban some, I just want to talk about money things. And by the way, Donald Trump this week, he saw Glennerman Putin. Did I say his name right? Putin? <laughs> the Russian guy? I guess we can say. Um, yeah, he's a Russian guy. He's the... Uh, uh, he, he's not from the United States or Canada. He's from Russia. He's from the Russian side of the countries. Um, so he speaks Russian. Uh, I think Russian people speak German. Don't they speak German? Um, but yeah, that's the that's a sense of it. But Donald Trump saw Vladimir uh, Putin... And he wants to. He wants to. He wants to have Vladimir Putin come in to United States. Now, remember, this is a dictator who's from uh, uh, Russia. I mean, he's a Russian guy. I mean, do you want Vladimir Putin from to come all the way from Russia, all the way to United States? Uh, you tell me, people. I'm telling you. Uh, I just hear what I hear. I, I think Donald Trump is doing his best, and I. I know a lot of people don't like him. You know, you don't have to like him or, or hate him. Okay, everybody is different about oh, how they feel about Donald Trump. Is he doing good? Is he not doing good? Or is he just uh, you just want to you know you know just like him the way he is? Okay, I appreciate him too. Uh, it's hard to appreciate Donald Trump the way he is. I kind of sway different ways on Donald Trump and way he says things and way he doesn't say things. And um, yeah, so. And that's all I have to say about that. Uh, about that two cents with uh, Donald Trump. He was. Uh, he, uh, a lot of people do like Donald Trump. Don't get me wrong. I, I included. I'm not always American, but I'm a Canadian first. Canadian first, American second. And uh, I do like the Americans because they're so. Uh, There's. It's it's all because of their politics they go on in the United States, and it just it just it throws me to a loop. Uh, how the uh, politics is run in the United States, how they do their politics stuff. And uh, you ha just have to, uh, I always say to anybody who is in the politics world, just uh, just stay continued. Just continue, uh, just, you know, there's more to come. There's more to come is what I'm trying to say. Just stay tuned because there's more to come with Donald Trump. Trust me, this is not over at all. There's more to come. <laughs> I'm not joking, folks. Stay tuned is what I saw to uh, what I said to Jake Trapper uh, on CNN, um, who's got a lot of books out there. But I kind of like him. I pretty like him a lot. But uh, so just remember, um, you don't have to like Donald Trump or you know agree on everything he says and all his policies. You know, I just like him the way he is as a person. I, I to me, I just like him as a person. You know, no matter what his policies are like, and. Um, just appreciate what he does, you know. And uh, and I I do like him. I do really appreciate that. So, guys, I want to tell you guys, stay true to yourself. Everybody would stay true to yourself. And uh, yeah, and that's my little. Uh, well, it's not really a rant. It's a podcast. I want to do a podcast for now on, and I will put these up on YouTube. And it's just audio only. Audio only. But you can listen to them if you want. It's only audio only. 